Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Feels like summertime out there just a little bit. By the weekend, we're going to be back into the springtime temperatures again. But uh, this little boost, going to let that grass really take off now. Dust off your mowers and get started, right? <laughs> Amen. Well, we didn't gather here to talk about the grass, did we? Came in here to talk about the Lord Jesus. My, he's wonderful to me. Hallelujah. I've come to worship him tonight, and I know you have too. And uh, we have uh, needs, I'm sure, that we can pray about. So why don't we just do it like this while, while my wife and Sister Becky are coming. Uh, let's all stand and just lift our hands. And you take that need to the Lord in prayer. And for at least as long as we're here in this service, you just leave it there at his feet while we worship him and let him have his way. Let's all stand and just give the Lord a praise. Father, we thank you. We love you tonight. We came to worship you. We came to offer up the sacrifice of praise. The book of Hebrews says, even the fruit of our lips. We lift up holy hands, Lord. We clap our hands. We lift up our hearts to the Lord. We stand. We dance. We sing. Hallelujah. We may shout a little, Lord. I tell you, I just want to worship Jesus. And I want to get lost in the Holy Ghost and let the Lord have his way. In my heart and in my life, I've come to worship you, Lord, in a way that pleases you. I want my life to be a blessing to you, Jesus. Oh, I want to be careful to give you the glory and the honor that's due to your matchless name. You are worthy. You are great and greatly to be praised. Our, our hearts are full tonight, Lord, uh, because of the blessing of the Lord in our lives. And we magnify the Lord tonight. Give you glory and honor and give you praise. In Jesus' wonderful name, amen and amen. Sister Trayla, come and help her sing tonight. And uh, the Lord bless you. Let's get right in and sing. I know everyone knows this chorus, so just help me sing. Jesus on the main line, tell him what you want. Jesus on the main line, tell him what you want. It's Jesus on the main line, tell him what you want. Jesus on the main line now. Oh, and if you need the Holy Ghost, tell him what you want. If you need the Holy Ghost, tell him what you want. If you need the Holy Ghost, Tell him what you want. Jesus on the main line now. Oh, Jesus on the main line. Tell him what you want. Jesus on the main line. Tell him what you want. Jesus on the main line. Tell him what you want. Jesus on the main line now. Oh, and if you need the victory, tell him what you want. If you need the victory, tell him what you want. And if you need the victory, tell him what you want. Jesus on the main line now. Why don't you call him up? Call him up and tell him what you want. Call him up. Call him up and tell him what you want. Call him up, call him up, tell him what you want. Jesus on the main line now. Oh, Jesus on the main line, tell him what you want. It's Jesus on the main line, tell him what you want. Oh, Jesus on the main line. Tell him what you want. Jesus on the main line now. And if you need deliverance, tell him what you 
us on the main line. Tell him what you want. On the main line, tell him what you want. It's Jesus on the main line. Tell him what you want. Jesus on the main line now. Oh, and if you need a healing, tell him what you want. And if you need a healing, tell him what you want. Oh, if you need a healing, tell him what you want. Jesus on the main line now. Why don't you call him up, call him up. Tell him what you want. Call him up. Call him up. Tell him what you want. Oh, call him up. Call him up. And tell him what you want. Jesus on the main line now. Oh, it's Jesus on the main line. Tell him what you want. Jesus on the main line. Tell him what you want. Jesus on the main line, tell him what you want. Jesus on the main line now. Oh, and if you need the victory, tell him what you want. Oh, if you need the victory, tell him what you want. Oh, if you need the victory, tell him what you want. Jesus on the main line now. Why don't you call him up, call him up, and tell him what you want. Oh, call him up, call him up, and tell him what you want. Oh, call him up, call him up, and tell him what you want. Jesus on the main line now. Oh, hallelujah, give him praise tonight. Hallelujah. So thankful we can call on Jesus anytime, night or day. Amen. And he's listening. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Let's turn to page 116, 116. laying up my treasures in thy home above trusting fully trusting in the Savior's love doing what I can for heaven's holy dove I'm getting ready to leave this world oh I'm getting ready to leave this world oh I'm getting ready for the game I'm keeping my record right, watching both day and night. I'm getting ready to leave this world. Oh, I'm getting ready to leave this world of sorrow. I'm getting ready for the gates of pearl. I'm keeping my record right, watching both day and night. I'm getting ready to leave this world. Oh, trusting in the riches of his saving grace. In each earthly trial, why his love can trace. I'm sure that up in heaven I shall find a place. Oh, I'm getting ready to leave this world. Oh, I'm getting ready to leave this world of sorrow i'm getting ready for the gates of pearl i'm keeping my record right watching both day and night i'm getting ready to leave this world oh to prepare a mansion jesus said i'll go and if it were not true i would have told you so but just a little while to linger here below oh i'm getting ready to leave this world oh i'm getting ready to leave this world of sorrow i'm getting ready for the gates of pearl i'm keeping my record right watching both days 
day and night. I'm getting ready to leave this world. Oh, I'm getting ready to leave this world of sorrow. I'm getting ready for the gates of pearl. I'm keeping my record right, watching both day and night. I'm getting ready to leave this world. Oh, to prepare a mansion, Jesus said, I'll go. Oh, if it were not true, I would have told you so. And just a little while to linger here below. Oh, I'm getting ready to leave this world. Oh, I'm getting ready to leave this world of sorrow. I'm getting ready for the gates of pearl. I'm keeping my record right, watching both day and night. I'm getting ready to leave this world. Oh, I'm getting ready to leave this world of sorrow. I'm getting ready for the gates of pearl. I'm keeping my record right. Watching both day and night, I'm getting ready to leave this world. Oh, to prepare a mansion, Jesus said, I'll go. Oh, if it were not true, I would have told you so. Oh, just a little while to linger here below. Oh, I'm getting ready to leave this world. I'm getting ready for the gates of pearls. I'm keeping my record right, watching both day and night. I'm getting ready to leave this world. Oh, I'm getting ready to leave this world. Oh, I'm getting ready for the gates of pearls. I'm keeping my record right. Watching both day and night, I'm getting ready to leave this world. I'm trusting in the riches of His saving grace. For oh, in each earthly trial, I His love can trace. And sure that up in heaven, I shall find a place. Oh, I'm getting ready to leave this world. Oh, I'm getting ready to leave this world of sorrow. Oh, I'm getting ready for the gates of pearl. Keeping my record right, watching both day and night. I'm getting ready to leave this world. Oh, to prepare a mansion, Jesus said, I'll go. Not true, I would have told you so, but just a little while to linger here below. Oh, I'm getting ready to leave this world. Oh, I'm getting ready to leave this world of sorrow. I'm getting ready for the gates of pearl. I'm keeping my record right. Watching both day and night, I'm getting ready to leave this world. Oh. Amen. So thankful he's gone to prepare a place, amen, for us. Amen. Page 223. 223. Oh, thank you, Jesus. I am on the upward road leading to that bridal road where forever my soul shall be free. And won't that be a happy time? Heaven's bells will sweetly 
sunshine when the home gates swing open for me and that will be, will be a happy day a happy day when the clouds have passed away from my care I, I shall be free when the home gates swing open veil of sin and greed. Jesus ever my refuge will be. Oh, soon at home my trials o'er. I shall praise him evermore when the home gates swing open for me. And that will be a happy day when the clouds have passed away. Open for me, oh, that will be, that will be a, happy a happy day when the clouds have passed away. away. Oh, from my care, I, I shall be free when the home gates swing open for me. Oh, I'll keep walking in his light till my faith shall end in sight. He will lead me till safe o'er the sea. Oh, I will find a welcome there and a crown of glory where when the home gates swing open for me. Oh, that will be, that will be a happy day, a happy day when the clouds have passed away. walking in his light till my faith shall end in sight he will lead me till safe o'er the sea oh i shall find a welcome there and a crown of glory where when the home gates swing open for me oh that will be a happy day when the clouds path may lead through the veil of sin and greed. Jesus ever my refuge will be. Soon at home my trials o'er. I shall praise him evermore when the home gates swing open for me. Oh, that will be a happy day when the clouds have passed away. I wasn't, I wasn't in here, but I heard a lot of you had some beautiful things to say about Sister Reba. You know, and as I was singing this song, I'm imagining her running the streets of gold. And it brought tears to my eyes because, you know, the last few months, you know, she couldn't do much. She couldn't get out. She mostly sat in her chair, and she hated that. She hated not being able to get to the house of God. But now she's in a place where nothing is hindering her from being in his presence. And I could just see her running up and down, praising God, being in the presence of the Lord. And so let's just sing that again and just remember we have that hope.
that one of these days we're going to join her there. Amen. Oh, I'll keep walking in his light till my faith shall end in sight. He will lead me till safe for the sea. And I shall find a welcome there and a crown of glory where when the home gates swing open for me. Oh, that will be a happy day when the clouds have passed away. Road leading to thy bright abode, where forever my soul shall be free. And won't that be a happy time? Heaven's bells will sweetly chime when the home gates swing open for me. Oh, that will be a happy day. Light, till my faith shall end in sight He will lead me till safe for the sea Oh, I shall find a welcome there And a crown of glory where When the home gates swing open for me Oh, that will be a happy day Sometimes the path may lead through the veil of sin and greed. Jesus ever my refuge will be. Oh, soon at home my trials o'er. I shall praise him evermore when the home gates swing open for me. That will be a happy day. Oh, when the clouds have passed away. Free when the 
home gates swing open for me. Thank God. Let's lift our hands and give the Lord a praise. <laughs> hallelujah. 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 Lord, we're excited about heaven. We're interested in going home. Hallelujah. This world is not my home. Hallelujah. They declared plainly they looked for a city whose foundations, whose builder and maker was God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank God for Jesus. Thank God for the promise of an eternity in the presence of the Lord. Brother Clifford, come and take up some testimonies tonight from God's people. And uh, good to have Brother Ken and, uh, and his sister here with us. Her name just completely, Sheila. I got it. You didn't have to tell me. It came to me. Sheila's here this evening. Amen. We're glad they're here tonight. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I want to tell you something, Mount Vernon feels closer to heaven tonight hallelujah than we than we did last week but, uh, one of our own has slipped on and went on on has, has got got out of here and and went on to glory and hallelujah we are we are closer hallelujah sister Cersei's in heaven tonight and her daughter's down here she's I believe sister Cersei's still holding Rhonda's hand and Rhonda's right there <laughs> hey God I'm telling you I mean we are close glory I say we are closer to heaven tonight hallelujah there is something that's just drawing us hallelujah that's pulling us Hey, God, there is somebody that we know, hallelujah, that sat with us and worshiped with us, hallelujah, that established and helped build this church. Hey, God, looking back through the years, I think she said the first time she walked through these doors was 1952. Hey, God, and today, hallelujah, she walked into heaven's glory. Hey, God, and she took some of us with her. Hey, God, and we are closer. I said we're closer. Hey, God, to heaven tonight. Hallelujah, we are closer to God. God has got heaven on our hearts and our minds hallelujah because sister Cersei has done stepped over and said we're closer thank God hallelujah we're closer to heaven tonight hallelujah than we were last week Woo. hallelujah I think about heaven I think about it all the time you know it comes to our hearts and our minds but I want to tell you something when you see a child of God hallelujah that you've admired and you've appreciated and God has stepped over and one of our own Lord it just draws the church hey God I said it draws the whole church closer to heaven thank God Woo. hallelujah Things I don't know we just think about. Hallelujah. It's a reality. <laughs> Glory to God that I'll tell you what the Cersei family is experiencing this week. It's a reality. <laughs> Ain't got heaven. <laughs> Praise the Lord. <laughs> Ain't got in the church at Mount Vernon. <laughs> Hallelujah. Has lost one of our founders. <laughs> Hallelujah. And went on to glory and we didn't lose her. We know exactly where she's at. <laughs> Lord, but I want to tell you, she steps over there. Ain't got, she's pulled Mount Vernon with her. Ain't got, we feel that pull. We feel that closeness. <laughs> we feel that desire. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. We're closer to heaven tonight. <laughs> Thank God than we've been before. Hallelujah. And I want to tell you something. I appreciate the Lord. Thank God, I appreciate the reality. Don't you, God? Don't you? Glory to God. Hallelujah. There is a peace. Thank God. There's a peace about, hallelujah, when the children of God go on to glory. Thank God, like Brother Ivy said, you're almost jealous. Thank God, their race is over. But I want to tell you, I appreciate the Lord tonight. I appreciate that closeness. I appreciate that drawing spirit that I feel. Hallelujah. I want to live such a life that when I leave, that people want to follow Glory to God. And Sister Search has sure been a blessing. Thank God to this place. Hallelujah. And what a testimony. Praise God. We've had them this morning. But I want to tell you tonight, we feel like we're just getting closer. Glory to God. Hallelujah. You love the Lord tonight. Somebody want to testify for Jesus. Praise God.
Hey, man, Brother Carson, you know that song? You got the words to it. Uh, Sister Becky, y'all come back through the piano. Praise the Lord. Somebody else testify for Jesus. Praise God. You love him tonight. You love the Lord. Glory to God. Is that all right, Pastor? I didn't mean to just get out of order there. Hallelujah. took all the way and I laid down the sin I made up my mind that I'm gonna win the shackles have fallen the chains now are gone I'm running with Jesus I'm running on I'm running on on with Jesus I'm running on and when the streets turn to gold then I'll know I'm home. I started out, started in faith, and one day you'll see this race that I'm running will bring victory. Well, that night at the altar, I let Jesus in. I started on this journey, be walking with him. The highway is holy, the road is so straight. Oh, Satan, you can stop me now i'm going home i'm running on on with jesus i'm running on and when the streets turn to gold then i'll know I'm, i started started in faith and one day you'll see this race that i'm running will bring victory oh i took off the weight and i laid down the seat I made up my mind that I'm gonna win. The shackles have fallen, those chains now are gone. I'm running with Jesus. I'm running on, I'm running on, on with Jesus. I'm running on, and when the streets turn to gold, then I'll know I'm home. I started, started in faith. One day you'll see this race that I'm running will bring victory. Oh, I'm running on, on with Jesus. I'm running on, and when the street turns, then I know I'm home. I started, started in faith, and one day you'll see this race that I'm running will bring victory. Oh, that night at the altar, I let Jesus in. I started on this journey, me walking with him. The highway is holy, the road is so straight. Oh, Satan, you can't stop me now. I'm going on, I'm going on with Jesus. I'm running on and when the streets turn to gold, then I'll know I'm home. I started out, started in faith, and one day you'll see this race that I'm running will bring victory. Oh, I'm running on. Oh, I'm running on, and when the streets turn to gold, then I'll know I'm home. I started out, started in faith, and one day you'll see this race that I'm running will bring victory. I took off the weight and I laid down the sin. I made 
up my mind that I'm going to win. Oh, the shackles have fallen. The chains now are gone. I'm running with Jesus. I'm running on. I'm running on. On with Jesus. I'm running on. And when the streets turn to gold, then I'll go. I'm home. I started out. race that I'm running will bring victory that night at the altar I let Jesus in I started on this journey walking with him the highway is holy the road is so straight oh Satan you can't stop me now I'm going home I'm running on out started in faith and one day you'll see this race that I'm running will bring victory
start the journey when I get there. the journey when I get there. Oh, there have been times when I've been tested and I've been tried. And sometimes sometimes I fail. the journey when I get there. Oh, heaven will be worth the journey. peace of God tonight. Uh, we Christians, we do everything backwards. Uh, yeah, yeah. The, we, the world looks on us and they just think we're just, man, we're missing the home. We rejoice uh, when, when somebody passes. <laughs> we, we know what sorrow is, but you know what the Bible says? We don't sorrow like those that have no hope. Uh, highly, yes, we're going to miss. Uh, yes, we're going to think back. We're going to wish you was here days. There was going to be time we wish Sister Search had walked in. But I want to tell you something. There's a rejoicing in the house of God. Uh, Lord to God, that one of his saints uh, highly has made it on to the other side. Uh, woo, glory to God. Uh, hallelujah. God gives us peace uh, in our sorrow times. Uh, thank God he gives us comfort. Uh, he wraps his arms around us. Uh, glory to God. Lord, we love you, Lord. We love you, Lord. I feel him. I feel that tonight. Hey, God, I said, I feel that tonight. He's wrapping his arms around Mount Vernon. Glory to God. Woo, thank you, Jesus. Lord, I love you. Lord, I love you, Lord. Glory to God. Lord, I thank you, Jesus. I thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Glory to God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. There was a storm in the book of Acts. I think it's the 27th chapter. Eurachlodon is what it was called. The ship was being destroyed. And the centurion, the leader in the ship, he said, you men that can swim, y'all jump on in. You men that can swim. 
<laughs> Glory to God. I thank God for those that have done made that crossing. <laughs> Hallelujah. I thank God for those that taught us how to swim. <laughs> I'll show you how to do this, Brother Anderson. <laughs> I'll show you how to do this, Mount Vernon. <laughs> Glory to God. I'm going to get in this water. <laughs> Hang on. I'm going to make it to the other side. <laughs> oh, Glory to God. Yeah, it's a storm. <laughs> yeah, it's sorrow. <laughs> yeah, there's going to be tears shed. <laughs> Glory to God. But I want to tell you something. There are some people that know how. <laughs> Hallelujah, Sister Cersei knew how to live it. Hang on. She knew how to walk it. She knew how to teach it. Hang God, And she left us an example. Lord of God, she stepped out in the storm and she made it to the other side. Lord of God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord. Glory to God. I thank God. I thank God for that gentleness. I thank God for that encouragement. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank God. When you get discouraged, Hallelujah. When you feel like you're having a rough time on this journey, thank God you remember the elders. You remember Sister Cersei. Hallelujah. That's been such a blessing. Like I said this morning, every time she testified, she said how good the Lord had been to her. The Lord's been good to me. I, I, I thought, man, uh, she, if anybody maybe had a, something to complain about at that age, she probably had some complaints, but she never mentioned them in the church. She never talked. To, I'm telling you, all I know about her is that the Lord has been good to her. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Thank the Lord. Before we uh, turn the order to serve, maybe somebody else wants to testify. Now, I didn't give you all very much. I said what I wanted to say, and I was ready to be done. But uh, maybe you got something you wanted to say. Hallelujah. You love the Lord tonight. Aren't you glad you're saved? Aren't you glad for that peace that we feel? Aren't you glad for that joy, that that, com that comfort? Of the, the Bible talks about the Holy Ghost being a comforter. Oh, man, we know what that is. Thank God I feel comforted tonight. Thank God I feel, a, I feel a closeness tonight to each and every one of you. Hallelujah. And I'll tell you, I just appreciate being here and being part. Hallelujah, Mount Vernon. Thank God. Somebody want to testify for Jesus? Thank you, Jesus. Thank God, thank God. I feel that cheering too, don't you? Hallelujah. I feel a strength. I feel something just surging. Thank God. Hallelujah. I, that second wind that they talk about. <laughs> Glory to God. Hallelujah. Somebody else. Praise the Lord. Thank God. Come on, Pastor. I'm sorry I didn't mean to take over like that or ask him to do it. I hope I wasn't out of order in any way. Praise God. I'm not sure how far I'll get with some of this. I've got a couple of things I want to tell you tonight. And those that are praying, you're not going to bother us. You just keep on a praying. We'll try not to bother you. But uh, I've got this on my mind, and I want to talk to you just a little bit. And then I might preach, but I might not. And uh, I've uh, got a little something here that uh, you may not even, you may wonder where in the world is he coming from? What in the world is he talking about? But I want to talk about this little thing here. Uh, you can, and I've just enjoyed this service. I'm certainly not trying to, to change it. But uh, folks can go through some pretty bad stuff. Have you ever met anybody that went through some pretty bad stuff? Yeah, and you know, I was, I owned a print shop once upon a time, and I was printing some tracks for this little group of people. You, Some of y'all have heard this before, but I sat down on a stool to read what I was printing that day, and I read that tract, and it said, come to Jesus, and he'll take away all your problems. It sounded good. Sure looked good on the page there, the tract, gospel tract how many of you know people have been through stuff and it didn't all go away when they got saved 
How many of you know there's folks that served the Lord all their lives and lived a good life for the Lord? And they had tons and tons of trouble. Stuff that wasn't fair. Stuff that even as a minister, Brother Clifford, I scratched my head and said, Lord, that ain't right. That ain't right. They shouldn't have to deal with that. They're too good. They live too good. They're too close to you to have to put up with some of that stuff. And you know, I preach a message of faith, and I, I still feel like I'm just nicking around the edges of this divine healing subject. And I've, not, I've tried not to just go on and on about it with you all until I feel pretty sure of myself about what, what I believe about that. But uh, leaving that aside, I know that some people can pray about certain situations in their lives every day and years pass. And nothing changes. Uh, am I just killing it for you real good right now? I'm going to try to help you here just a little bit. People go through some pretty bad stuff. Stuff they didn't deserve to go through. Situations they did not create. Now some people, they're living in their own mess. And they, they made it and God's merciful. And he helps them out of that sometimes. He'll change that around for them. And forgive and, and make things a lot better. In his mercy. It's just in his mercy. But then there's Charles Barnett, who's just been such a wonderful man of God and had all kinds of trouble. Family stuff that should have never, you just never thought. You with me tonight? People go through some stuff. And they'll spend, they'll spend their days praying for God to change it. And a lot of emotional energy goes into trying to make it better and praying for it to change and praying for it to get better. And I, I didn't understand this years ago. A man came to our church and he talked about this. And I, dis, I flat out disagreed, not publicly and not vocally, but I flat out disagreed with him when I heard him utter the words that some situations that are not changing, whatever you do, however, or some situations, now hear me here, I'm, I'm trying to help somebody and I really think I will if the Lord will help me. But you can be the best person you know how to be. And there's just some things that cannot be fixed. Just can't be fixed. It's such a scrambled mess that it's not ever going to be what it could have been. You with me tonight? And we could spend our emotional energy and our spiritual energy and we could spend all our time begging God to change that thing. This man, under the inspiration of the Holy Ghost at the time, although I did not recognize it, told the congregation that day, it'll be all right to leave that in the hands of God and spend your emotional energy and your spiritual fervor on something else that's going to yield a result. Something else that's going to bring a different answer, a, that kind of answer that you need. Oh, I hated that. I wanted to keep on telling people, you just keep on praying and God's going to sort it all out. And it's going to be perfect when he gets done. But I've seen godly people die and it wasn't perfect. And it didn't get done. And somewhere on the way, and Brother, brother uh, Dan Roberts doesn't know this, but he helped me with this just a little bit. You know, Brother Dan Roberts was dying with pancreatic cancer, one of the most painful and quickly spreading cancers that you can get, if I'm remembering correctly. Pancreatic cancer, a man of faith, a man that believed God would heal the sick. It was God's will to heal the sick. And he was so sick. And he was seeking the Lord and believing God and trusting the Lord for his healing. And he told this, and he was healed, by the way. God healed him in a fellowship meeting in, a, in the preacher's conference when an unknown young preacher walked up to him and said, Brother Roberts, can I pray for you? And he didn't even really, he was, a, he was you know, not somebody everybody would have recognized. You know, you always want the one to pray for you when you're in that kind of a situation. But this little guy, totally unknown, 
totally young and inexperienced, led by God, said, Brother, can I pray for you, Brother Roberts? And that man prayed for him, and God healed Brother Roberts of pancreatic cancer in that moment, completely healed him. But Brother Roberts himself said, it didn't happen until I told the Lord, Lord, I'm going to trust you. And I'm going to believe you whether I live or die with this cancer. I'm going to trust you. I'm going to love you anyway. Now, in that case, God healed the sick. And I believe it's God's will. But let me get back to my subject. I've got to come to the place in my life where I can say, Lord, if it doesn't get any better, I still trust you. I still trust you. I'm still going to raise my hand and say, thank you, Jesus, for your goodness to me. I'm still going to witness and tell people that Jesus is still the sweetest thing that ever happened in my life. I'm still going to get out there and rub shoulders with the world and tell them the Lord has been so good to me. And I don't know how he's going to do it. I feel like I'm helping somebody. Right. I don't know how he's going to do it. But somehow, if you'll put that in his hands and say, I've, I've spent all I can spend on that, Lord. I'm putting it up to you now. I'm going to focus on, on something else. I'm going to set something else in my sights. And I'm going to serve you with all of my heart. And if it never changes never changes and I have to deal with this till the day that I die somehow I feel the Holy Ghost telling somebody somehow the Lord is going to make it up somewhere somehow in your life the Lord is going to make it up and you'll look back and you'll say it was the hand of the Lord that kept me and it was the hand of the Lord that made up the difference. I feel the Holy Ghost. Would you stand with me all over the house? I'm done. I can't say nothing else about it. Except I feel like telling you, you may not be able to change it. It might hurt like it always did. But I'm telling you, if you'll put your trust in the Lord, he'll make up the difference. He will make up the difference. He will find a way. And whatever that gaping hole in your heart is, he has a way of filling it with a lot of good things. And you can say, he ain't never done me nothing. Never done me nothing but good it's the enemy's business to steal and to kill and to destroy. And we know all about what he does and what he's all about. But Jesus comes back. Amen. I hear it echo across the ages. But I have come that they might have life and life more abundantly. Amen. He did not promise to give everything back. He didn't promise to fix everything that was broken. I know that goes against the theology of the world. But he never made that kind of commitment to us. But what he did say was I'll never leave you nor forsake you. I'll be with you even to the end of the world. And he loved us daily with benefits and somehow he's going to make up the difference for you in spite of all the injustice and all the pain the Lord has a way of making the bitter waters of Mara <laughs> sweet and when you're satisfied there, he'll bring you on down to the place where there's 12 palm trees and a brook of running clean, fresh water. Hallelujah. If you'll just get, that's what the children of Israel did. They came to the bitter waters. They said, we're going to die. We're going to thirst to death out here. And God said, Moses, throw this stick in the water. I'll cure those waters. And he, he cured the waters of Merah. And they were able to drink, but it wasn't made to last forever. He said, I've got some something on down the road here. Here's the place where there's all these palm trees and an oasis of water that you can drink from. They probably still remembered the little bit of a bitter taste that was left, but oh, what we've got waiting for us over here. 
It's the best thing we've ever had. Hallelujah. Let's find a place to pray tonight. I feel like I've delivered my soul. I didn't read a single scripture. Amen. Let's find a place to pray tonight. Let's let this sink down in our hearts. And let's ask God, amen, to give us the grace we need to bear up under whatever burden it is. Amen. That you carry and you just never know. You just never know what God might do. It doesn't mean you got to stop praying about it. It doesn't mean that you got to just leave it alone and act like it never happened. But in somewhere in your walk with God, hallelujah, you can lean on the everlasting arms of Jesus. Hallelujah. And find the blessing and the rest. Hallelujah. That your soul needs from his hand. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Let's pray, saints. It might not be you tonight. It might not describe your life. But I'd say it probably describes more than one or two here tonight. Hallelujah. You can help us pray. Amen. You can ask God to touch that one and to help them in their time of need. Hallelujah.